the presentation's about getting switched on. I'm just saying there's a lot of people switched off. If you're going out for listing presentation and you walk into that home, you should brighten that place when you walk in. Is that true? Some people brighten it when they leave. <laughs> I want you to think of something right now that you want to get yourself to do more of, a key goal that you want to achieve, something you are committed to achieving, something you're committed to start doing. A streak starts with one. When you add one new discipline, one new streak in your life, it impacts everything else. Key thing you gotta do is to make a decision, no matter what, I have what it takes to do this business and I'm gonna be successful, is that right? I mean, it's still, though, I think fairly easy to be successful in America today. What do you think? Here's why. It's fairly easy to be successful because so many people are satisfied with being mediocre at what they do. With you guys, either you place the business or you don't place the business. There's no participation trophy. Hey, nice quote, good job, way to go, right? <laughs>
Hey, this is uh, Walt McGurr. I just got done with uh, Chip. He just finished uh, the, the afternoon with us. We did the board break. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's the second time, actually, that he's done this for me, and uh, you know the team just absolutely loved it. They told me it was the best sales conference they've ever had, and a lot of these guys have been around 10, 15 years. So for them to be that pumped up relative to my objective of trying to change some of the attitude, some of the mentality that's there, uh, that's a significant uh, compliment. Um, he's very prepared, does a good job. He's got great energy. He really challenges you. He makes you think. And he puts together a program that I think is really impactful. I'd recommend them to anybody. What do you believe about what we're talking about? What do you believe about the opportunity? What do you believe about how big the company can go? What do you believe about exercising? Some people believe, oh, geez, I'd work out, Chip, in the morning, but I'm just not a morning person. Well, if you believe you're not, guess what? You're not. What do you believe? A belief is a feeling of certainty, and it comes down to this, fixed versus growth mindset. Fixed versus growth mindset. Um, there was a seminal story um, from Carol Dweck, and if there's a link to it on my website called The Secret to Raising Smart Kids, this is one of my favorite pictures of my kids about nine years ago. Um, of those three today, which is the one that aggravates me the most? Anybody? Can you guess? <laughs> the little guy on the side, because how, how many of you were the youngest like me or Lucas? How many of you were the youngest like me or Lucas? How many of you were the oldest or only child? I'd ask how many of you guys were in the middle, but nobody really cared that much about you anyway, so I'm going <laughs> to skip it. I'm going to skip it. But, um, the secret to raising smart kids is they found out the self-esteem movement's gone too far. We praise them too much. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, you are so good at that. That's just fantastic. Look at that picture. Gosh, you're so good. But you, Johnny, you are special, Johnny. He's like, damn right. But Dennis, you are so gifted, right? And after a while, we tell them they're so smart and gifted, they what? Believe it, I've been blessed with superior intellect. And they think they're so smart, therefore they don't have to what? Work at it, because I'm so smart. Those are the kids who don't put themselves in situations they might fail because they don't want to look bad. Opposite end of that spectrum is kids who weren't told they were brilliant or smart. Those are the kids overdiagnosed ADHD, ADD, learning disability, and the kid thinks they're less than, is it possible? And it can be in their identity forever. So part of the key, the secret to raising smart kids, is to tell them stories of people who had less talent but overcame that. The, secret, the, the best line of the article, it's worth reading, five, five pages, and uh, the teacher's saying, you know what, you're making new connections every day. You think you're frustrated? That's okay. You're getting smarter every single day. And the kid said, you mean I don't have to be dumb anymore? It never dawned on him that his intelligence was growth. The people who move towards mastery know they are a work in progress. At a recent meeting we had in April with about 200 franchisees and general managers, we hired Chip Eichelberger. You know, I was a little skeptical. We had this theme about breaking barriers and you're always looking for the right speaker and you know, you want them to have great content and you want them to be entertaining and you want them to customize and you want them to engage the audience. And a lot of times, you know, the audience is pretty demanding. And so I'm always a little skeptical when I hear about a guy like Chip who claims to do all those things. And I was actually pretty blown away. I've seen a lot of great speakers. I've seen a lot of speakers interact with the audience. So if you're looking for a speaker that will really engage the audience, get their attention, get them really thinking about the things that get in their way of their own personal development, of their business growth, of the strategies that they know are so important to their business, I think you can't go wrong by hiring Chip Eichelberger. I was in San Francisco early in this year speaking. I heard about this Millennium Tower. You heard about this Millennium Tower? It's like a $700 million building, 56 stories. Condos start at a million, go up to like $15 million. But they have a problem. Um, over the last five years, it sunk 17 inches and tilting 14 inches. Literally in every room in that condominium, you're rolling balls across it. They made a decision and got it approved by the, the, the planning commission in San Francisco to put the foundation into 80 feet of sand instead of 200 feet into bedrock. They're estimating now 300-ish million dollars to go underneath to get that thing anchored into bedrock. If it starts out at 300 million, what do you think the end cost is going to be? Here's my metaphor for you. For what's really important in your life, you got to have it in bedrock. It's got to be solid. And I need you to think. I know this isn't easy. Best quote I've ever heard in thinking was Dr. King. Dr. King said, 
Rarely do we see people willing to engage in hard, solid thinking. There's a universal quest for easy answers and half-baked solutions. Nothing pains some people more than having to think. Hi, this is Chip Eichelberger. Thanks for taking the time to watch my demo. I know you're in the middle of trying to find, quote, the right speaker for your event. All I can do is tell you what I promise, because I truly believe that your audience is not looking for another, quote, speech, a one-way presentation. People are truly dying for engagement. If you bring me in, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get somebody who does their homework. I'm not going to phone it in. I'm going to do interviews with people. I will quote them from stage. I'm going to prepare interactive handouts that get people involved and make the message sticky. I'm going to bring humor. I'm going to bring high energy. And I'm going to be fun in an impactful way that your audience will remember. If you bring me in, I promise I will work hard to exceed your expectations. Please contact the bureau rep who recommended me so we can figure out how we can partner together to make your event the best one ever.